In particle and condensed matter physics, goldstone bosons or Nambu goldstone bosons (NGBs) are bosons that appear necessarily in models exhibiting spontaneous breakdown of continuous symmetries. They were discovered by Yoichiro Nambu in the context of the BCS superconductivity mechanism, and subsequently elucidated by Jeffrey Goldstone, and systematically generalized in the context of quantum field theory. These spinless bosons correspond to the spontaneously broken internal symmetry generators, and are characterized by the quantum numbers of these. They transform nonlinearly shift under the action of these generators, and can thus be excited out of the asymmetric vacuum by these generators. Thus, they can be thought of as the excitations of the field in the broken symmetry directions in group space—and are massless if the spontaneously broken symmetry is not also broken explicitly. If, instead, the symmetry is not exact, i.e. if it is explicitly broken as well as spontaneously broken, then the Nambu Goldstone bosons are not massless, though they typically remain relatively light, they are then called pseudo-Goldstone bosons or pseudo-Nambu Goldstone bosons abbreviated PNGBs. Goldstone's theorem Goldstone's theorem examines a generic continuous symmetry which is spontaneously broken, i.e., its currents are conserved, but the ground state is not invariant under the action of the corresponding charges. Then, necessarily, new massless or light, if the symmetry is not exact, scalar particles appear in the spectrum of possible excitations. There is one scalar particle, called a Nambu Goldstone boson, for each generator of the symmetry that is broken, i.e., that does not preserve the ground state. The Nambu Goldstone mode is a long wavelength fluctuation of the corresponding order parameter. By virtue of their special properties in coupling to the vacuum of the respective symmetry broken theory, vanishing momentum, soft Goldstone bosons involved in field theoretic amplitudes make such amplitudes vanish. Adler zeros. In theories with gauge symmetry, the Goldstone bosons are «eaten» by the gauge bosons. The latter become massive and their new, longitudinal polarization is provided by the Goldstone boson. Examples <laughs> 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 Topic: Natural. In fluids, the phonon is longitudinal, and it is the Goldstone boson of the spontaneously broken Galilean symmetry. In solids, the situation is more complicated. The Goldstone bosons are the longitudinal and transverse phonons, and they happen to be the Goldstone bosons of spontaneously broken Galilean, translational, and rotational symmetry with no simple one to one correspondence between the Goldstone modes and the broken symmetries. In magnets, the original rotational symmetry present in the absence of an external magnetic field is spontaneously broken such that the magnetization points into a specific direction. The Goldstone bosons then are the magnons, i.e., spin waves in which the local magnetization direction oscillates. 
The pions are the pseudo Goldstone bosons that result from the spontaneous breakdown of the chiral flavor symmetries of QCD affected by quark condensation due to the strong interaction. These symmetries are further explicitly broken by the masses of the quarks, so that the pions are not massless, but their mass is significantly smaller than typical hadron masses. The longitudinal polarization components of the W and Z bosons correspond to the Goldstone bosons of the spontaneously broken part of the electroweak symmetry Su U which, however, are not observable. Because this symmetry is gauged, the three would-be Goldstone bosons are eaten by the three gauge bosons corresponding to the three broken generators, this gives these three gauge bosons a mass, and the associated necessary third polarization degree of freedom. This is described in the standard model through the Higgs mechanism. An analogous phenomenon occurs in superconductivity, which served as the original source of inspiration for NAMBU, namely, the photon develops a dynamical mass expressed as magnetic flux exclusion from a superconductor, cf. the Ginzburg–Landau theory. theory. Consider a complex scalar field phi, with the constraint that phi asterisk phi equals v squared, a constant. One way to impose a constraint of this sort is by including a potential interaction term in its Lagrangian density. Lambda phi phi minus v two. Two display style lambda phi caret asterisk phi v caret two caret two tilde, and taking the limit as lambda infinity, this is called the abelian nonlinear sigma model. It corresponds to the Goldstone sombrero potential where the tip and the sides shoot to infinity, preserving the location of the minimum at its base. The constraint, and the action, below, are invariant under AU phase transformation, DEF equals IF. The field can be redefined to give a real scalar field, i.e., a spin zero particle theta without any constraint by phi equals V E I theta. Display style phi equals v caret i theta, where theta is the Nambu Goldstone boson, actually v theta is, and the u one symmetry transformation affects a shift on theta, namely delta theta equals e display style delta theta equals epsilon tilde. But does not preserve the ground state, zero, i.e., the above infinitesimal transformation does not annihilate it the hallmark of invariance, as evident in the charge of the current below. Thus, the vacuum is degenerate and non invariant under the action of the spontaneously broken symmetry. The corresponding Lagrangian density is given by. L equals minus one two mu phi mu phi plus m two phi phi equals minus one two minus I V 
e minus i theta mu theta i v e i theta mu theta plus m 2 v 2 Display style math call L equals FRAC one two partial carrot mu phi carrot asterisk partial underscore mu phi plus m carrot two phi carrot asterisk phi equals FRAC one two I've carrot I theta partial carrot mu theta I've carrot I theta partial underscore mu theta plus m carrot two V carrot Two and thus equals minus V two two mu theta mu theta plus M two V two Display style equals FRAC V carrot two two partial carrot mu theta partial underscore mu theta plus M carrot two V carrot two tilde. Note that the constant term M squared V squared in the Lagrangian density has no physical significance, and the other term in it is simply the kinetic term for a massless scalar. The symmetry induced conserved U one current as J mu equals minus V two mu theta Display style J underscore mu equals V carrot two partial underscore mu theta tilde the charge q resulting from this current shifts theta and the ground state to a new degenerate ground state thus a vacuum with theta topic 0 will shift to a different vacuum with theta Minus epsilon, the current connects the original vacuum with the Nambu Goldstone boson state, 0, J0, 0, 0, theta does not equal 0. In general, in a theory with several scalar fields, phi j, the Nambu Goldstone mode phi g is massless, and parameterizes the curve of possible degenerate vacuum states. Its hallmark under the broken symmetry transformation is nonvanishing vacuum expectation dF g, an order parameter, for vanishing phi g. Topic <laughs> 0, at some ground state, 0 chosen at the minimum of the potential, v, phi i. 0. Symmetry dictates that all variations of the potential with respect to the fields in all symmetry directions vanish. The vacuum value of the first order variation in any direction vanishes as just seen, while the vacuum value of the second order variation must also vanish, as follows. Vanishing vacuum values of field symmetry transformation increments add no new information. By contrast, however, nonvanishing vacuum expectations of transformation increments, dF g, specify the relevant Goldstone null eigenvectors of the mass matrix and hence the corresponding zero mass eigenvalues. Topic: Goldstone's argument. 
The principle behind Goldstone's argument is that the ground state is not unique. Normally, by current conservation, the charge operator for any symmetry current is time independent. D D T Q equals D D T X J zero X equals zero Display style D over D T Q equals D over D T int underscore X J carrot zero X equals zero Acting with the charge operator on the vacuum either annihilates the vacuum, if that is symmetric, else, if not, as is the case in spontaneous symmetry breaking, it produces a zero frequency state out of it, through its shift transformation feature illustrated above. Actually, here, the charge itself is ill defined, cf. the Fabry Picasso argument below. But its better behaved commutators with fields, that is, the nonvanishing transformation shifts dF g, are, nevertheless, time invariant d delta phi g d t equals zero. Display style frac d Langle delta phi underscore g wrangle d t equals zero, thus generating a delta k zero in its Fourier transform. This ensures that inserting a complete set of intermediate states in a non-vanishing current commutator can lead to vanishing time evolution only when one or more of these states is massless. Thus, if the vacuum is not invariant under the symmetry, action of the charge operator produces a state which is different from the vacuum chosen, but which has zero frequency. This is a long wavelength oscillation of a field which is nearly stationary. There are physical states with zero frequency, k0, so that the theory cannot have a mass gap. This argument is further clarified by taking the limit carefully. If an approximate charge operator acting in a huge but finite region A is applied to the vacuum d d t q a equals d d T x e minus x two two a two j zero x equals minus x e Minus x two two a two j equals x e minus x two two a two J Display style D over D T Q underscore A equals D over D T int underscore X E carrot F R A C X carrot two two A carrot 
two J carrot zero X equals int underscore X E carrot FRAC X carrot two two A carrot two Nabla C D O T J equals int underscore X Nabla left E carrot FRAC X carrot two two A carrot two right C D O T J a state with approximately vanishing time derivative is produced d d t q a 0 approximately equals 1 a q a 0 Display style left D over D T Q underscore a zero wrangle right approximately FRAC one a left Q underscore a zero wrangle right Assuming a non-vanishing mass gap M0, the frequency of any state like the above, which is orthogonal to the vacuum, is at least M0. D D T theta equals H theta M zero theta Display style left FRAC D D T theta wrangle right equals H theta wrangle G E Q M underscore zero theta wrangle letting A become large leads to a contradiction. Consequently M zero equals zero. However this argument fails when the symmetry is gauged, because then the symmetry generator is only performing a gauge transformation. A gauge transformed state is the same exact state, so that acting with a symmetry generator does not get one out of the vacuum. Fabry-Picasso theorem Q does not properly exist in the Hilbert space, unless Q, 0. Topic 0, the argument requires both the vacuum and the charge Q to be translationally invariant, P, 0. 0, P, Q equals 0. Consider the correlation function of the charge with itself. 0 Q Q 0 equals D 3 X 0 J 0 X Q zero equals D three X zero E I P X J zero zero E Minus I P X Q zero equals D three X zero E I P X J zero zero E minus I P X Q E I P X E minus 
I P X zero equals D three X zero J zero zero Q zero display style begin aligned Langle zero Q Q zero Wrangle and equals in D carrot 3x Langle 0 J underscore 0 X Q 0 Wrangle and equals int D carrot 3x left Langle 0 left E carrot IPX J underscore 0 0 E carrot IPX Q right 0 right Wrangle and equals int D carrot 3x left Langle 0 left E carrot IPX J underscore zero zero E carrot IPX Q E carrot IPX E carrot IPX right zero right wrangle and equals in D carrot three X left Langle zero left J underscore zero zero Q right zero right wrangle end aligned so the integrand in the right hand side does not depend on the position. Thus, its value is proportional to the total space volume Q zero two equals infinity. Display style Q zero wrangle carrot two equals NFT. Unless the symmetry is unbroken, Q zero equals zero. Consequently, Q does not properly exist in the Hilbert space. Equals. Topic: Infraparticles. Topic: There is an arguable loophole in the theorem. If one reads the theorem carefully, it only states that there exist non-vacuum states with arbitrarily small energies. Take for example a chiral n 1 super QCD model with a non-zero squark VEV which is conformal in the IR. The chiral symmetry is a global symmetry which is partially spontaneously broken. Some of the Goldstone bosons associated with this spontaneous symmetry breaking are charged under the unbroken gauge group and hence, these composite bosons have a continuous mass spectrum with arbitrarily small masses but yet there is no Goldstone boson with exactly zero mass. In other words, the Goldstone bosons are infraparticles. Topic: Non-relativistic theories. A version of Goldstone's theorem also applies to non-relativistic theories and also relativistic theories with spontaneously broken spacetime symmetries, such as Lorentz symmetry or conformal symmetry, rotational or translational invariance. It essentially states that, for each spontaneously broken symmetry, there corresponds some quasiparticle with no energy gap. The non-relativistic version of the mass gap, note that the energy here is really h minus mu n minus alpha p and not h. However, two different spontaneously broken generators may now give rise to the same Nambu Goldstone boson. For example, in a superfluid, both the U particle number symmetry and Galilean symmetry are spontaneously broken. However, the phonon is the Goldstone boson for both. In general, the phonon is effectively the Nambu Goldstone boson for spontaneously broken Galilean Lorentz symmetry. 
However, in contrast to the case of internal symmetry breaking, when spacetime symmetries are broken, the order parameter need not be a scalar field, but may be a tensor field, and the corresponding independent massless modes may now be fewer than the number of spontaneously broken generators, because the Goldstone modes may now be linearly dependent among themselves, e.g., the Goldstone modes for some generators might be expressed as gradients of Goldstone modes for other broken generators. <laughs> Nambu Goldstone fermions Spontaneously broken global fermionic symmetries, which occur in some supersymmetric models, lead to Nambu Goldstone fermions, or Goldstinos. These have spin one half, instead of zero, and carry all quantum numbers of the respective supersymmetry generators broken spontaneously. Spontaneous supersymmetry breaking smashes up reduces supermultiplet structures into the characteristic nonlinear realizations of broken supersymmetry, so that Goldstinos are superpartners of all particles in the theory, of any spin, and the only superpartners, at that. That is, to say, two non-Goldstino particles, are connected to only Goldstinos through supersymmetry transformations, and not to each other, even if they were so connected before the breaking of supersymmetry. As a result, the masses and spin multiplicities of such particles are then arbitrary. See also Pseudo Goldstone boson, Majoron, Higgs mechanism, Merman Wagner theorem, Vacuum expectation value, Noether's theorem. <laughs>